today we have a change of scenery. This is my home or part of my home. This is my fragrance collection. Uh, recently I decluttered my fragrance collection to something a little bit more manageable. This to me is a manageable fragrance collection. So I thought that you know what, you might like to take a snoop around uh, and I can show you some of my very favorites. Where to start? Zadig and Voltaire. I probably butchered that. Uh, this is a really beautiful fragrance. It's got quite a creamy note, which you're going to notice is a, like a reoccurring theme in my fragrance collection. I love creamy notes. The Body Shop Italian Summer Fig. So I love fig fragrances, love on other people. There is just something about a lot of fig perfumes that when I try to wear them, after a few hours, I start to feel a little bit nauseated. It just kind of makes me feel a little bit sick. But this one, this one is a fig that I can successfully wear. Love. If you are looking for a genuine vanilla pod, nothing sickly or artificial, then this, whoopsie, this is what you need in your life. Vaniglia del Madagascar. It definitely leans sweet, but it's not at all artificial. It's got that real genuine vanilla pod note. Love that one. Also, if you're looking for a vanilla that's perhaps a little bit more widely available, then the Aaron Vanilla is also really, really gorgeous. Not too sweet, this one. It's got a little bit of a powdery note, uh, but another really good genuine vanilla. Bulgari Rose Essential. So this actually reminds me a little bit of my grandmother. And I, that's, I say that in the best way possible because I gave it to her for her birthday some years ago. And so every time I smell it, it just kind of reminds me of her. But this is, I think, quite a unique rose fragrance in that I see it on everyone. I see it on a teenager. I see it on a professional woman. I see it on perhaps a more mature lady. It's a rose for every age. Really beautiful, soft, very nice. Also... Another rose that I adore, the Tower Rose Flash. This is a masterpiece, truly. So typically with roses, it's either like a really floral rose fragrance or like maybe a powdery rose fragrance. This is a jammy rose. Like it's, if, if you had a, like a rose hip jam, this is what it would be. And it's got that really beautiful, deep, spicy note. Um, and definitely more of a kind of sweater weather fragrance. This is one of my favorites and one of the more unique ones in my collection. So I do this thing, right? Where uh, every time I go on an overseas trip, I will buy a fragrance at the very beginning of the trip and wear it throughout. So that when I come home and I spray that fragrance, it reminds me of, of my holiday. And this is one such fragrance. Um, I purchased this one in Barcelona. I tracked down like a niche perfumery in, in Barcelona. And it's interesting because one of the notes is chestnut cream, um, which is quite a, quite a rare note in perfume. So this one is, again, quite gourmand, caramel notes, chestnut, um, really beautiful for winter. And this is a similar vein. I'm going to pronounce this and I'm going to get it wrong, but I'll try it anyway. Ginestet Botrytis. <laughs> fragrance people out there are going to kill me because this is actually quite a cult favorite and again this is um, quite a gourmand uh, edible caramelized um, perfume but it also has a little bit of a tobacco note which kind of cuts through that sweetness uh, if, if you love your gourmand fragrances this is a classic you need it flower bomb this is actually Adrian's favorite fragrance, um, so I always keep a bottle in my collection. It is quite a sweet one, this one, and very distinctive. Like when I um, walk down the street and I, I walk past someone, straight away I'm like, flower bomb. One of my most worn fragrances, actually, this is Dame Perfumery Mate Heliotrope and Patchouli. So if you're not familiar, Heliotrope is a note that kind of smells a little bit like almond or maybe a not so sweet uh, marzipan and I adore it. Historically, it was um, mostly used in male fragrances, uh, but whenever I see a heliotrope heavy fragrance, I must have it. And this one is incredible. It is quite sweet, but not, not in a, like a generic way. It has that real freshness and there is never a day or a season that I'm not in the mood to wear this one. So on that note about heliotrope, Another beautiful heliotrope fragrance is the Frederick Mar Le Deveur. So, so unique 
and beautiful. So this is what I would describe as a skin scent. It's got heliotrope notes, but it's a skin scent, um, which means that the, the fragrance doesn't fill a room or linger behind you, but if someone were to come and hug you, for example, then they could smell it. It sits very close to the skin. Another skin scent is the Paradise Paradise. Look at that bottle. Quite a hefty guy, probably not the best for travel, but looks beautiful on a vanity. And this one has notes of, it's like a powdery iris, this one. You've got to like your powdery notes in order to enjoy this one, but it just feels so glamorous. A fragrance that I will always have in my collection is Alien. So this actually is the, the fragrance that I wore all throughout high school. It was a bit of a signature scent for me. But you know what? This one they say is a, a jasmine and musk. I don't get much jasmine from this, but it is really quite ambery and sexy, <laughs> which kind of alarms me because I wore it for like six years as a teenager, but moving on. Another really sexy fragrance is this one by Versace, Crystal Noir. Again, this one's got a lot of amber and amber it's one of my favorite notes. Another really sexy fragrance. It looks like I have two of these, but actually one of them is uh, Hair Mist. Um, this is Tom Ford Black Orchid. So another dark, sexy, opulent kind of fragrance. This is like a little, like a little black dress sort of fragrance. And uh, this they say is a spicy floral. Quite heady, quite a strong one, but pair it with a little black dress, beautiful. This one is an interesting one, my Burberry. So this is quite um, fresh and elegant and sophisticated and feminine. And this is something that I would wear to say like a business meeting uh, or like a more traditional workplace. Um, whereas some of my fragrances are, they could be your cup of tea or perhaps not your cup of tea. This is a fragrance that I'm confident that everybody will enjoy. Uh, unless you just don't like fragrances, in which case. <laughs> I have quite a few uh, Jo Malone fragrances, uh, actually. In general, I like Jo Malone. I don't think they have the best longevity on me personally, uh, but they, they tend to be more cologne kind of products. And this is Nectarine, Blossom and Honey, which I think if you enjoy your sweet fragrances, you'll enjoy this one. It's sweet and fruity but not a generic sweet and fruity. It's still got something a little bit unique about it. My other Jo Malone fragrances here. So we've got Blackberry and Bay, which was another trip fragrance. I purchased this at the beginning of a trip in Europe. Um, I went with my high school girlfriends. And so every time I smell this, it just takes me back. It's quite, again, a sweet and fruity fragrance and very easy to wear, but that bay leaf cuts through the sweetness so that it's not sickly. Um, also the Jo Malone English Oak and Red Currant. So this is not something that I would typically have in my collection because it's quite dry. There's really not much sweetness to this at all, but actually I love mixing it um, with, with some of my other fragrances to maybe like cut through that sweetness a little bit, give it a little bit more of a woody effect. Oriental Musk. So this has uh, primarily kind of vanilla notes, but it has uh, also some leather and tobacco to, to make it a little bit more sexy. Kind of a little bit like um, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, which is actually in Adrian's collection. He has, I would say, probably a better fragrance collection than myself. He loves fragrance. I think I hit most of, most of my main favorites there. If you love fragrance, let's chat about this in the comment section below. I know that this video might get a, a grand total of like four views, uh, but I am super passionate uh, about fragrance and niche fragrance in particular. So I want to chat with you down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you would like to see next. All suggestions are welcome in the comment section down below. I hope you're having a wonderful day, whatever it is you're up to, and I shall speak to you all very soon. Bye. Is that still recording? Oh yes, thank God. <gasps> can, can you imagine if we if it stopped <laughs> recording?